This is Life with Cat Walsh. Welcome back, everyone. It's your host, Kat. This is going to be a short one because, yeah, it's a really quick point, but something I feel like it would be really valuable for me to share today because that's what the style of this podcast is, right? It's it's kind of a personal journal. And so when something comes up in my life that I feel like uh, has some universal concepts, I want to share it. If you're watching this, you could see, like, I'm not even wearing makeup. Like, it just literally came through. I was like, Kat, get out of your way and just talk about um, this, what I feel is like a really important message. So a little context uh, of a couple days ago, I put out a video on Trip on This about this live stream mushroom trip that I was supposed to do that didn't happen. And uh, long story short, uh, the my friend who I was with ended up not realizing, I didn't, none of us realized, like we didn't realize like how strong the, the mushrooms were and it hit her really, really hard and she didn't at all expect a trip and um, ended up having like a really challenging time and I had to basically like end the live stream, like got on and I ended it. And um, I'm bringing this up because, you know, I felt good creating the video because I just was just like, I, I don't know. I was like in a flow state. Uh, it was the, the, the next morning, like right after this whole thing happened, I immediately got on and made a video and released it. And after releasing it, um, I didn't really feel very good about it. I just want to make sure my recording is on. Uh, I, I wasn't feeling great around it. And what is, what are the intentions, uh, behind everything that we do? Right. And to me, like, this is a real big question around leadership and, uh, but not just about leadership, but just about everything in life. Like, why do, why do we do what we do? And I think the thing that really didn't feel good within myself after this video is because the truth was I wanted to get out a video as quickly as possible because I was embarrassed that this live stream didn't happen. And I didn't want people to think it was me you know, basically like that's the, the, the very, uh, basic level of that. I just was like protecting myself and protecting my own, um, brand and ego. And even though everything that happened in the video, uh, that said in the video did happen, I had to really ask the deeper questions to myself of like, why doesn't this feel great for you though? And that's really it was that, oh, it's because I was protecting myself in this video. Um, And, and really, you know, the idea of like creating a scapegoat when like, you know, in, in hindsight, sorry, I'm, I'm not articulating particularly well in this episode, but you know, everything happened there, but it's, it's within the, the energy that I had creating the video, like how quickly I rushed it. I didn't, you know, I could have let the weekend go and in- integrated it more and created the video then about the experience, which probably would have been very different, but I felt myself just, yeah, in full protection mode. And, you know, I had to reach out to my girlfriend today and just apologize for, for a lot of different things for a, her, uh, getting caught in that experience. And then also her having to like really see a video that, you know, I don't know if, what it, what it, whether it made her feel bad or uh, she didn't say any of those things though, but like I just felt in myself. And so it just, it just strikes me as, um, and, and also the thing that I want to say is the, the thing about the ego is like, if you listen to my trip on this video that I did, and there's still some really valuable lessons in it, like the, the lessons are all there. And I do take responsibility and accountability in that video. And, uh, I have the guise of leadership, You know, the guise of leadership uh, is shown in that video because I'm talking about really good tips for real, you know what I mean? And I'm also talking about taking responsibility and accountability. All great things that leaders should do, except that the one underlying um, energy that wasn't in truth was that it was first and foremost a protection of self. And and that's why uh, this moment feels like being in integrity. This actually feels like a bigger leadership um, 
moment. Although it's funny when I was thinking about it, I was like, the ego loves even this, the idea of me talking about, and now look at me, what a leader you are, Kat. Like just, just having to clown myself of being like the fucking layers of the ego and like how self-important it is, even when like it's like doing the right thing or whatnot. Um, but yeah, I guess it's just, you know, this is for all of us, right? Why do we do what we do? We can do, even when we do something nice or when we do something, uh, you know, all, everything, like why, why are we doing that nice thing or, or, uh, taking this action or why are we doing anything that we do and just having like a really, just being aware of it, you know, and then, and, and sometimes it's okay, whatever, you know, sometimes it's very multi-layered why we do what we do, right? There's, there's many layers around intentions, uh, when we're putting something out, but if we're not clear on them and we can't own up to them, then I feel like that's when it sits in misalignment and that's what it did for me. And so I'm just bringing everything back into alignment and using my life once again as a, a way to, um, obviously my own learnings and then hopefully sharing that with you. So, uh, should I do a quick card? Does this even feel like a card day? Okay. I think Metatron's saying yes. Okay. We'll do a quick card, quick card folks. All right, for those of you who haven't listened to Life with Cat Walsh, this is going to be probably like the weirdest episode. You're going to be like, what is this podcast? <laughs> it is quite literally like a podcast with no rules. I just get on here and talk and say what's on my mind, and there's it has no structure. So as you can tell, this is it. And then I pull a card from this Archangel Metatron deck uh, for all of us, a, cl- a collective card. So what is it, Metatron? What do we need to know? All right. Okay, we got card number 29, the Madonna and mothering. There it is if you're watching. So this is a card about nurture and mostly nurturing ourself. And so obviously I'm going to take this, um, I'm going to take this back for myself that to be kind to myself, to mother myself, right? This is really about how can we mother ourselves um, when we are going through it you know, or we've made mistakes or we're feeling guilty or shameful or any of these emotions. And how can we be the hug that we need for ourself? How can we pull out the mother archetype within ourselves instead of needing it from elsewhere? How do we create that within ourselves? And so I'm definitely going to take that card and just say, all right, cut and give you a big hug and say, it's all right, girl. And your friend loves you and, and, uh, you're doing great. So Love you guys. I will see you very soon. Hopefully I'm going to get another episode in of Life with Cat Walsh this week. So stay tuned.